Hello everyone, it's Heidi and welcome to this week's episode of Baby Dame Sunday. Today's list we are touching on some more zodiac inspired names as we are heading into Libra season. So make sure you guys are subscribed before I start off with the list. Make sure you guys are hitting that bell notification below as well. Go follow me over on Instagram as I post a ton of content on there. So Libras are born between September 23rd and October 22nd. So they are one of those signs that are right in the middle of fall. I'm going to jump into some of the personality traits of a Libra. So if you do want to skip ahead and go straight for the names, you can do so at this time right here. Jumping into some of the personality traits or qualities of a Libra, they're represented by the scales. So balancing harmony, peace, and justice in the world. Libras are known to be charming. They're known to be extroverted, empathetic, and natural peacemakers of the world as well. They are an air sign and they're ruling planet is Venus and some lucky gemstone names that I find super sweet for a little girl is Sapphire and Opal. Then lastly, a floral name that is inspired by this Libra season is Bluebells or the name Bluebell. And this one is probably one of my favorite vintage floral names as Bluebell, the name in general, was actually quite popular in the mid 1900s. So I really love this for either your first name pick or that middle name spot. Moving into my Libra name picks for this list. First two names are actually, I put them together because they are color names here. So we have the name Magenta, spell M-A-G-E-N-T-A, -E Magenta. And then I have the name Blush, spelled B-L-U-S-H, Blush. These two pinky hues are color names that are associated to Libras. I love Magenta because you can do that nickname Maggie, and I think it's a really bold and fun girl's name. But then I also love the name Blush because it gives this different feel of like this elegance and kind of this dainty feminine vibe if you know what I mean personally I love both of these names as that first name basis because bold color names are totally in right now so I find they're really cool but they have this little bit of a vintage appeal to them then speaking of vintage I have the name Bonnie so b-o-n-n-i-e Bonnie this is a Scottish originated name meaning beautiful and cheerful which are two character traits that best describe a little Libra. I love this name as a vintage revival name, especially because Bonnie is like almost like a nicknamey vintage name. So I think it is so sweet. Now for the boy side, first name here, I have the name Abel, spell A-B-E-L, Abel. Now Abel is a Hebrew originated name meaning breath. And I thought of breath kind of means to do with air and <laughs> Libra is an air sign. So I thought that had some good correlation. And it is one of those Hebrew names that have been kind of going back and forth actually between boys and girls. Now it is on the charts for the girl side as well. So I really like that one and I feel like it's one of those softer biblical names just like Ezra. Abel. Staying on the boy side, a very festive name for this season for your little boy is the name Draco. So D-R-A-C-O, Draco. I cannot even say how many names I love on this list, but I love this one, and so does Davian. It's Latin originated, meaning dragon, and dragons symbolize wisdom, magic, luck, and power. These are the absolute perfect traits behind a little Libra boy, and it's over the 1,000 mark right now on the name chart, so I think that really falls into a lot of people's name lists, especially during this time. I mean, Draco for your little Harry Potter inspired baby boy. I think it's so cool for a little Halloween baby. We have a virtue name here next. It's the name Liberty, spelled L-I-B-E-R-T-Y, Liberty. So this virtue name means the state of being free, absolutely carefree, loving life, and just doing their own thing, almost like the personality of a leader. And I love this as it's actually rising for girls and for boys, which is really cool. It's still quite uncommon for both sides but I think Liberty makes a really, really great name choice, especially for a virtue name choice for your little boy or girl. We have a place name here next. It's the name Memphis, spelled M-E-M-P-H-I-S, Memphis. This one's Greek originated, meaning enduring and beautiful. It's also obviously a place name, Memphis, Tennessee. So along with those other names like Bronx, Denver, Arizona, all those kind of state, city, or state names, this falls right in there with you, but it's been rising for both boys and for girls, so I really like it, and it makes it that genderless 
place name option for you. All right, switching things up a little bit here. I am so in love with this next girl's name. I think it's so pretty. So it's the name Nazira. Spelled N-A-Z-I-R-A, -A, Nazira. It's Arabic originated, meaning equal, so representing that balance of a Libra, that symbolism. And this one is unranked, guys unranked Nazira. I love the name Nazi or Azira for her. Oh, I think this is just so, so beautiful. Moving on to the boy side here, we have the name Axel, well, A-X-E-L, Axel. I think this one is one of my probably top edgy boy names, but it's Scandinavian originated, meaning father of peace. Now, Libras love to have that sense of peace, that harmony in the world and just the people around them. Surprisingly, this one is ranking for both boys and for girls. So a lot of these names just in general, especially this past year, have been falling onto both genders name charts. So boys names, girls names, it can work for absolutely anyone. Let's keep going because I'm pretty sure our next one is, yes, our next one is genderless as well. So this is the name Paxton, it's called P-A-X-T-O-N, Paxton. I actually really love this name. I love the nickname Pax so much. And I think this could be really an edgy Peyton for a girl, Paxton. It's ranking again for both boys and for girls, and it's a Latin and English originated name, meaning peaceful town. So maybe Axel for your little boy and Paxton for your little girl with those X's combined, and both meanings mean peace. I think this could really work. So I really love that pairing together, Axel and Paxton. We have another place name here next. Obviously, we can't go through this list without the name Salem, spelled S-A-L-E-M, Salem. Now, during this time, I feel like Halloween-y, you know, Salem, you gotta put this one on the list. And on top of that, it's a biblical place name, meaning safe. Next up, we have another Z name on the list here, and that's the name Zuelia, spelled Z-U-E-L-I-A. Zuelia. Now this one is Arabic rooted, meaning peace. So we have another option here that means peace. Man, we have tons. We have Axel, Paxton, Salem, and Zuelia. I feel like they all have this really kind of unique and edgy sound to them with a very peaceful meaning. Love the nicknames for this one too. You can do Zuzu, Zu, or Elia, or Eli, even for your little girl. Then speaking of Z names, guys, I have another one here for you. This one's a little bit more genderless, and this is the name Zakaya. It's spelled Z-A-K-I-A-H, Zakaya. This is an amazing Aya ending name. I really love this. I couldn't choose for boy or for girl, but it's Muslim originated, meaning clever. For nicknames, you can do Zach for your boy, or Kaya, or Kia for your little girl, and it's in the 3000s for boys and 5000s for girls. Another name that actually means clever as well, but completely different feel, is the name Cassidy. Now Cassidy could be spelt with a C or a K, but I have C-A-S-S-I-D-Y, Cassidy. Now this one's an Irish surname, but has made its way over to that first name basis. I've been seeing it a little bit more frequently, especially for a K on the girl side. Lots of surnames that begin with C, like even Collins or Colin. For the girls, everyone's been choosing a K. So Collins with a K, Cassidy with a K. This would be a really great, actually, simile name to Collins, I feel. Cassidy and Collins with two Ks. That would be so cool. Anyways, moving on now. Next up on the list, an A name on the boy side is the name Amadeus. So A-M-A-D-E-U-S, Amadeus. This is so like romantic, handsome. Reminds me of like Ambrose, Amadeus, like so cool. This one, it's Latin originated, meaning love of God. That is such a beautiful meaning. And it's in the 2000s or just over the 2500s for boys right now. Now for an A name on the girl side, I have the name Ahava. Spelled A-H-A-V-A, -A -A, Ahava. I really love the sound of this. It's very like sweet and soft sounding. It's Hebrew originated, meaning love. So both Amadeus and Ahava, like how dreamy are these sibling names together? I think that's so sweet. It's also a very uncommon name. It's in the 5000s. Jeez, I love it. I honestly love these Zodiac names list because there's so many uncommon names on the list 
or new names that are brand new to me as well so it's so fun hunting them down and I'm so happy you guys love them all right last three names here on the list next up I have the name Kalila or Kalila so k-a-h-l-i-l-a-h this is another one of those beautiful k names for a girl loving all the nicknames Kali, Lila or Lila so beautiful this one is Arabic originated meaning friend it is also unranked as well so that is a great name that sounds very familiar and should be popular but it's not then I have two more names here left for you. A very short and sweet girl's name. I have the name Evie or Evie, spelled E-V-Y. There's two different pronunciations there, whichever way completely works. I love the Y ending spelling. This one is both ranking for boys and girls, which makes it very genderless, really cute. And it's Hebrew originated, meaning life and breath. Then that brings me to my final name here on this list. Really cool for the boys, and I feel like a lot of you will absolutely love it. And that's the name Candon. So K A N D A N. Candon. Now this one's Hindu originated meaning cloud or cloud god. So with the air sign being the ruler of Libra, I think this is really cool. It also reminds me of Camden, but Candon for a boy. I think it could be completely genderless for both either boys or girls, but it's unranked on both name charts. So waiting to be snatched up just like all the other ones. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed another one of these. This is the seventh Zodiac Names video. Oh my goodness, we're getting down the list here too. And I think we're gonna get into some really interesting lists as we make our way into this late end of fall, but also into the winter season. I think it's just so exciting. And let me know if you are a Libra or if you are having a little Libra baby in the next few weeks here or early next month. Oh, what a fun time to be having a baby, especially when you get to kind of cuddle and just enjoy the cold season outdoors and just bundle up with your little baby. Oh, it's one of my favorites. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are staying safe out there. Take care and I will see you guys next Sunday with another baby names list. Bye.